as we start this game. It's Mott against King. Little soccer off the ground, a half forward for the Cats. Chapman overran it, got pushed in the back. Umpire said play on. Goods. Kicks one out wide to Dunkley. Couldn't get there, Mooney. To Chapman. Chapman from 45. Across the face, a goal. It's a mark to Riccardi. Riccardi makes no mistake. Cats get the first of the night. Goods got the tap. Went straight to Enright though. Graham to Wojcicki. Shows some dash. Shows great dash as he has a couple of bounces. Now goes to Clark, right in the middle of the SCG. Clark gets a move. In quickly. And cutting it off is Saddington. Saddington, he also wastes no time. Goes long to Bolton. Spoiled by Graham. Doing the roaming is next to Schwarz. Breaks a couple of tackles. Now handballs back. It's a little toe poke. Here's a chance for Nix. He can kick a goal from here. And he swats it through. Ten and a half back, Malcolm. The side looks a little more balanced. Yeah, well, it's just um, he actually has run forward a few times too, and Short was actually running with him, so he's almost playing a defensive role on. Uh, well, it appears to be on Graham. King kicks into the pocket. Great kick. <laughs> Difficult shot though from 50 metres. Great looking kick across the face. Now a mark's been paid. Well, Jill looked like it was over the goal line, but a mark has been paid to Riccardi. Welcome. Uh, he used his body, just his arms. I think it was fair. Would he mark it inside the field of oh, play? Certainly. Got on Peter yeah, and Cardi. Right well, what a dream start this would be for him. He'll run out a couple of steps, kicks. And he's kicked a goal for the Cats. Riccardi's kicked two. Just notice that on the, as a game. See how they tap it down in tight, Geelong. If the Swans get the tap, they seem to take it away. Quite interesting. In right at half back to Ling. Good tackle by Williams. Fosdyke to Hall. Kicks it into the corridor. Shawball against Harley. Good one on one there. Goods won the football in the end. To Crouch. He's got time to load up from 52 metres. Kicks a beauty. Like Malibu, I'ma have you on tiptoes. Watching my diamond afterglow. I know you wanna take me home. I'm on my way, on my way. Ott wins it forward. Graham in front of Lockett. Thumps it. Outside defense of 50. Two on two contest. Lord committed his body. War. Did likewise, Riccardi, oh, stood up brilliantly. Got it to Lord, now a chance for Link, his gang tackle. Free kick, advantage caught, Lord. Cleverly placed kick to Corey in the centre. Burns on the lead, it gets to him. Hoist it high. It's a goal. Geelong lead by five points. 19 minutes ticked over in the first quarter. Chapman leads the race for the football. Williams provides the contest. Canelli gathers the crumbs. Back to Williams from 60. Goes long. Lock it behind Graham. Plugger. Oh, it's the one-hander. Oh, the big fella's taken a magnificent one-hander. From 10 metres out.
21 minutes in, Lockett's been on the ground just five minutes. Mott out of the centre. Nix couldn't control it. Corey Kent, clever handball and hands and knees to Lee. Wobbles it inside, attacking 50. Dunkley, first there, little shove out. Play on the call. Fans not happy. Sydney fans at least. Goods hard up against the boundary line in the back pocket. Clears. Williams did well to keep it in. Now Canelli swans away again. Kick to Hall. Look out. Wojcicki stood his ground and burns a free kick. Scarlett advantage. Well done by Wojcicki too. Didn't take a backward step. And eventually Riccardi ends up with the football for Geelong at half forward. Short to Burns. Couldn't take this one. Copped a lot of pressure from Fixter. Well, Sydney worked the ball out. It's Wharf to Crouch. Crouch will pump it long. Lock it one out with Graham again. Graham goes up early. Fists it away. Harley to Wojcicki. And he decides to switch. Well, it hasn't come it off. It's ball rebounded to Craswell. Who slots Sydney's four? Dunkley. One step and wobbles at about 45 metres. King in front, couldn't quite hold on. Good pressure coming from Mott. The Cats work it cleverly though. Kelly involved. Back to Kelly from Milburn. 60 from Golden Riccardi. Oh, he's brought down in a brilliant tackle from Maxfield. Clark. Cats under enormous pressure. War. Handle on the bounce, gets to Maxfield. Now Cooks. Possession number 11. Drill short. Williams, he's dangerous from this position. Paul Williams, and he kicks a goal for this one. Exciting footy from City. There's the Kangaroos. Well, guests for the night. There's the captain, Anthony Stevens, a good mate of Wayne Schwartz. He and Glenn Archer, another former Kangaroo, Peter Manor. At least three Kangaroos here tonight to watch Wayne Schwartz in his last game. Williams, once again with the football. But on this occasion, it's Corey. He clears to Rook. Awkward bounce. Eventually, the Cats put it back inside their 50. Now there's a whistle here, and it's going to be a free kick to Dunkley against Mooney for interference in the marking contest. And the other side, 50. I'm not sure that was four. Was it for a bit of lip? Looks like pretty strong, I mean, isn't he? To, to it was a free 50, kick. 50, didn't it? Well, I reckon it was a free kick because, I mean, he did pull him off the ball, and the ball wasn't in five metres. If you can ever work that out. So Sydney to half forward. Hall will get there first. Gets it. To Canelli, who's done some nice things. Good give to Maxfield. Into the hole. Back with Courage is Creswell. He deserves a goal for this one. And he makes no mistake. Well, Mooney's got the sit here. Well done in front. Strong mark to Bolton. Bolton to Goods. Maxfield. Gathers beautifully. Two bounces. He'll square it up. His target is Lockett, who pushes Graham under the ball. The big fella just couldn't hang on to it. Well, there's a clear sign, just uh, a lack of match practice, a lack of touch. He usually would gobble those locker, but Sydney's still with a chance. Canelli to O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin on the boundary line, back to Canelli, back to O'Loughlin. Can they work something here, Sydney? O'Loughlin short to Williams. And Williams will line up directly in front, 25 out. Goal number two to Williams. Kingsley, who's a long way from goal. Oh. And a 
That's a very, very good mark taken by young James Kelly, just 18 years of age. Playing his fifth game. Inside 50. And here's a mark. It's coming back. And he has put it through for a badly needed goal for the Cats. Target, the back Dunkley. Now a chance for the Cats. Ling. King. Sweeps it to Enright to kill Patrick. Oh no, he chips it. It was a dangerous kick, but it came off. Kelly wobbles it again inside, attacking 50 in front. Kingsley. Well, Kingsley, there's a great look at it. He's only 30 metres from goal. And he pops it through. Cats draw to within 14 points. Last six scoring shots to Geelong. Dunkley. Support provided by Keneally. Confronted by Burns, but he's able to kick it out wide. Fosdyke, hard up against the boundary line. And they share it well, the Swans. Wharf, overlap from Fosdyke. And he just put himself under a bit of pressure. King missed it. Harley didn't. Kicks back to, oh, gee, a nest of Sydney Swans players. And Fosdyke takes a comfortable mark on the centre wing. The loose player inside is O'Keefe. He's got another player inside the centre square if he wants to use him, O'Keefe. He ignores that. Kicks long to half forward. Nick's in the pack. Melbourne couldn't take it. Harley. Oh, straight to Goods. Loose player, O'Loughlin. Great kick from Goods. Will it get to him? It did, but he couldn't take the mark. He's got plenty of time from 35 metres. Kicks around the body. Graham. Two metres from his own defensive goal line. Relieves the pressure. Dangerous kick. And Nick's read it beautifully. Comes in and he squeezed it through. He has. And City gets some breathing space as we near half time. Out to 17 points. As we'll have take two in the middle. No, umpires oh. played a free kick for over the ball. Pretty hard to get it out when you've got about six players <laughs> sitting on you. Gee, well, it's the first one tonight. Goods. Goes the direct route. Lock it from behind. Nick's quick hands. It's another goal of Sydney Foster. And it's back out all of a sudden to 23 points in favour of Sydney. So Geelong's good work in the middle part of the quarter, undone by the Swans. Kick to half forward, Riccardi drops it. Put wheels onto the left foot from 45. Kicks it goal. And nails it. Kick around the body. Bye. Towards the wing. Shawl did well. Fosdyke off the ground. Now a chance for Crouch. He's got Hall short. And O'Loughlin also in the pocket. He can't control a bouncing football. O'Loughlin tried to knock it back towards Crouch. Crouch has got it again. He's got some space. Handboard and Goods. Goods is 30 metres from goal. Squares it up. Nicks the target. And he's got it. Matthew Nix, just 20 metres from goal, and I think he squeezed it through. Goal to Sydney. Chapman. Kelly. Got him. Good kick. Kingsley's got 36 for the year. And there can make it 37. In his last game of football.
close to three-quarter time. Cats have loved one before the break. Street, good handball, close quarters to Corey. Sweeping, handball to Wojcinski. Pumps it towards the pocket. Kingsley's marked it right beside the behind post. So, Kent Kingsley has kicked two goals too. And there's a very good look at the angle that confronts Kingsley. Just pointing, just ensuring the player to his right is the mandatory five metres around. Kicks around the body, it's close. He likes it. Goal! Ball on the wing. Mott gets it forward. Creswell is very good in close. Bolton inside attacking 50. O'Loughlin. He'll kick from about 40 metres. Looks pretty good off the boot. He's kicked it. King and Mott to do battle. King trying to get it down towards Riccardi. Eventually gets to Riccardi, floats it. Inside attacking 50, Kingsley almost. Good fist from Saddington. Chapman at ground level. Searching for an option. He's got one out wide. Lord. Oh, well played by Crouch. He's been a very good defender tonight for the Swans. Kicks towards Schwoz. Kick had too much carry. Williams is dynamic. If he can pick it up, he can run to 40. He runs to 30 and kicks a goal. has had a brilliant night. 24 disposals, three goals. And it's a handy 22-point buffer to the Swans. Here they go again. Williams might kick another one from 50. Magnificent goal! Absolutely outstanding tonight. There he is again. Handball. 
adequately. He asked Link for an effort, but he was good enough. Gardner, now in right. Inside attacking 50, Mooney overruns it. Kingsley will stay in. Oh, it did. No, it didn't. Van Van Pyle was caught a little way behind play, but he was able to spot it. The field umpire was right there, and he looked quickly back to the boundary umpire because he knew it was over the boundary line. Ball in the pocket for the Cats. King takes it out. Snap it. Goal. Keith. King gets it again to Riccardi, and again, this time it's over on the fourth. Chapman's hurt, he's got to come off, he's, I reckon he might have dislocated his finger. That means they're one short, that means they're in trouble. And here he is, there's his opponent, and the player's standing there right alongside him. So Matthews drills it to half forward. There's Nix. He's been quiet for the last 15 minutes or so, but he gets a disposal there. Inside 50 yard, great right mark goods. And in the end, it's uh, a throw in, so no score at all. So still, it is the Swans by four points. Here's the injury to Chapman. Oh. And he caught one in the nose and the boot also on the finger, so he's on the bench getting treatment. A double whammy. Throw in. Chance for the Swans. It's a free kick, is it? To oh. Martin, it is. It's against King for a hole. Well, there was a lot of pushing and shoving and scragging. And Mutt, I don't think he can believe his luck. I think he's a bit surprised himself. The replay will tell a story. We saw him have this kick not quite in these circumstances against Essendon at a stadium Australia, remember, boys, and uh, he shanked it. Well, he's kicked a goal since then. Yeah, of course. Confident story. So Ricky Mutt has kicked a goal. <laughs> 21 and a half minutes in final term. Swans by 10 points. Clark. Can the Cats conjure up something and kick the next goal? Walk by the run. Give Riccardi a chance. Can draw a player to Mooney from 50 metres. Mooney, a driving kick is a goal! Sensational stuff! By eight. At three quarter time, led by 28 points in the early stage of this final quarter. Williams kicked the half auto Lockett. Margin just four points. And Lockett's shocking kick gives Graham a chance. Enright, loose at half back. Drills a kick to half court. Chapman a clever mark. Had to really stretch for that. Williams mark, too far out to score, you'd suggest. Movement made by Kingsley, the kick goes and marked by Kingsley. Well, he dummied back a couple of times, Kent Kingsley, then led hard to the pocket and the kick was perfect. This will put the Cats in front. Yes, uh, he's, he's one grabbing everything when he gets near it, Kingsley, isn't he? He gets a chance at it. He's just 25 metres from goal, if that. Angle, 60 degrees. They haven't been in front since the 18 minute mark of the first quarter and he puts the Cats in front. Kent Kingsley, as we get the five minute warning. Boundary throw in, Swans into attack, we're approaching 31 minutes play. Williams kicks around the body, high towards full forward. Paul and Scarlett, Paul, we can't mark. McCarty and Harley, they work it out of the back pocket to Lord. And Lord in plenty of space, he has one bounce, a second, he's got Chapman in the centre, doesn't worry about that, just kicks along the boundary line, and boundary throw in on the centre wing. Yeah. What else did he try and do other than kick it out, what do you reckon? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul Rodney, yuck. They've lost four close games this year, Sydney. Oh, yeah. Could be heading for number five. So throw in. King got first hand onto it. And back over the line it goes. We've got almost 32 minutes. Cats in front by three points. 
can't be much time left now, surely. Goods, Saddington. Here we go. Last roll of the dice inside 50. Hall attacked it. There's a chance. It's Feinstein. He has a shot. It's across the face. It's a point. Oh. He had time to steady, but he couldn't finish it off. Catch by two points. Huge kick out. Huge kick out. I think that's exactly what it will be. Huge. No one. Swans have gone man on man in their defensive area. The kick will need to be long. And Stephen King's gone short. Oh. Graham thumps at 65 metres. Mooney almost. Taken now by Corey. Got it from Harley. And another boundary throw in on the centre wing. 32, nearly 33 minutes. You'd have to think the Cats are safe now. What a comeback. They trail by 28 points, nine minutes into this final term. Ten goal last quarter between the two. And there it is, the final siren. Geelong have staged a remarkable fight back. They kicked six of the last seven goals and have defeated the Sydney Swans by two points. And what a comeback and disappointment for that man, Wayne Schwoz. Brad Scholl going to him. It all looked like roses for the Swans early in that final quarter, but the Cats have prevailed. They've won.